Welcome back to Mango Plays Game of Thrones, the Telltale series. And we're on episode 5. We've just started, I believe. It's been a while since I've delved into the Game of Thrones um, series. I cannot even remember where we are. This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out, day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. I've got enough gold to buy them all. Mm, I'd be careful flaunting it. Hmm. She ain't wrong there. Oh god. Okay, so, um, I hope you guys had a good Christmas, good New Year celebrations. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the masters overthrown. They're not gone, they're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. It's mm. a fair point. Okay, that was pointless. Oh, we still got the dragon's tooth then. What? what the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Asha. Okay, uh, let's look at the heads. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Hmm. Alright, let's climb the stairs then. Or not. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Ta. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with lily white arses like you, little brother. What are you leading me into, Beska? Now, I warned you, but don't worry, little brother. I'll protect you. <laughs> awesome. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can, but not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk. Away. Um, one, two. You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. <laughs> Should have had but him. Do what Amaya says. You talk to her. Well, good, because that's exactly what. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Uh oh. Oh, I like the music. Dun, 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 dun. Where did Beska go? There she went. Let's stay on her trail. Uh. Wow, odd camera angles. But could I could I continue going, please? Thank you. Oh dear. I'm assuming that's a Amir, Amar, whoever we're looking for. Oh no, this has been the person we want. Amaya! Take her! You must want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. 
One that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Um. I I didn't know. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On oh dear. All of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> Basica's really letting us down at the moment. My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You Ooh. think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat! But you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. Ah, bugger. No. Who you are until we see you please. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? How about the belly here? You might wish so. His name is Blood Song. He's vicious. Fearless and fast. I'm gonna die. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. <laughs> well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! Oh, dear. Goodbye dying there. Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of whores. Thanks, Beska. Hey, I need those. You'll fight with the weapons we give you. Oh. You all see this cockless Westerosi? He's come to order us to battle. Like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. Look, this wasn't my choice. I'm not here to kill anyone. Well, we all know that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I mean. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. 
May the best fighter win. The best would be me. Um. That one. Um. Shit. Okay, bets now on how many times I miss. Up, down. Are you ready? Nope. No, because you're dancing around like a weirdo. Up. Yours would be a beautiful death. Isn't that something you'd like to say? Oh, stab him in the back whilst he's prancing around. We cannot let the crowd go wanting. I think I can actually. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. Did I get it? Um. That's no weapon word. Oh dear. Did I not Would press it? it? If I stood still, yes. <laughs> Come on, pretty boy. At least... At least what? Really annoys me that you end up cutting them off. So we've disarmed him twice. You can lift it. Oops. Uh. Come on. Spam that cue. Uh. Uh, spam, 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 spam. Okay. Ready, Don't hold back. Don't intend to. Look at this terrified boy. I got itchy nose. His end. Are they saying arsehole? Oh dear. Elbow him in the groin. Elbow him in the groin. Elbow him in the groin. Don't let go of your weapon. See, now he has it. Uh. Boom. Um, I guess we gotta kill him now. How do they know our name? Yeah. I guess I could have spared him, but then the guy would have come back to life as such and attempted to kill me and your old champion is gone. As are your old masters. You can stay here in the ring with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. Ooh -ha. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. <laughs> Oops, I missed it. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. 
and to those too craven to join me. To hell with you! Ooh, yeah. So we've got oh achievement unlocked. We light the way. That means we've got a um. Oh crap! I knew them. What are those things? Oh, God, get over here! Over here! We've got one of our own. Thank you. Uh, we're on a log. Um, did I miss something? Uh. I won't do anything. Then we need dragon glass, I think. Yeah. Stop letting go of your weapon. I'm spamming this. There we go. Hello. Thank you. Why don't you help, Sylvie? Fuck! Why won't they die? We need fire! It's the only way! Alright. Oh, oh fucker. Hell. Oh, yeah, should have got a leg. Go for the leg! There we go. Um. Just, just pick up the fire! Oh, there we go. Stop staring at it. Turn around. Come on. We've got to go help Sylvie. Where's your wooden fire? Wooden fire? Wow. Where's your stick that's on fire? Ooh, buggery. Uh, yep. I hope you're right about this, Garrett. So do I. I like Garrett. Ooh. Oh, I reckon she's gonna die. I don't think I quite played her character right. Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. By who? You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It hasn't been easy, Your Grace, but I've done what I've needed to do. Haven't we all? I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you've invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I do what's necessary, Your Grace. Including using another girl to talk your way in, I'm told. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Neither of you. <laughs> Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. She believes in family. I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. 
I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. Mm. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. I'm nervous. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me. Mm. Assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. She walks weird. Demon unlocked. We do not sew. You think hmm. we hired this boat for nothing? Oh, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. After you sold me out to Daenerys, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry, but you're my family, no matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. There's not many, to be fair. There's like six. Resco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Six. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What does Daenerys want from you? She has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! So we're finally heading back. Achievement unlocked as high as honor. Wow, we're doing the achievements today. Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. Thanks. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. He's just the if person. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Ah, oh, I ask for brawn. They send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? <laughs> Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I brought you a gift. Wine. You know the way to my heart. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. <laughs> poisoned. Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. I wouldn't say wine is one of them. So, why are you here? Hmm. It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. Why are you trying to help me? You and Podrick. Podrick! I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. <laughs> it's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? <laughs> you can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. No more lies. She left me no choice. She never does. Least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Let me handle this. We're not done talking. You heard the girl. Go. Imp. I hate the fact that my sister <laughs> expect you would learn. I hate him so People much. Testify on your behalf. She's using you. Yes. You will continue to do so until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie will understand. Cersei left me no choice. Let's hope she understands. Mm. Because absent her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> What should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. She'll never believe that. Then come up with something better. Tell her I intend to call Sansa, uh, Varys, Jamie. Give her a list of names and be done with it. Enough of this nonsense. You're wasting my time. Out, now. I wish you well, Lady Mira. I think I just got Mira killed. Be careful who you trust. Mm. But I could not be honest with him. Achievement unlocked, unbowed, unbent, unbroken. What should you leave? Sorry. Hello. Didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We hmm. haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. Hey. Hey. I, I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. My only regret is what happened to your brother. If I'd only... Please, let's not talk about Arthur. Not now. He's very battle worn, what isn't he? What do we do now? Now that we are. Uh, what we are. We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. 
Roderick? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good Learn morning, to not. Talia. <laughs> Hello, Elena. Oh, I, I didn't realize you two were... I mean, I didn't realize she was... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. Hang on, you're naked, woman. All right, she's That's in the classic sheet. I hope. Oh, I hate that in movies. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. Back where? To the grove. Why? And someone was there. Who? What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Who? Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. Just tell me who. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. Tell us who. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister, make him pay. I'm lord of this house, Talia. It's my job to deliver justice, not vengeance. I can't promise to kill a man before I've heard him out. You know mm -hmm. what he's done. That should be enough. Talia, please. Come with me. Stop being a child. He's in the Great Hall. Oh, for God's sake, Talia. Mm, is it who I think is going to be? Is the, the the guy that we chose? Oh. Oh. My lord. <laughs> Scared me after. Ah, it's the guy we didn't choose. So you know. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. Start explaining yourself, Duncan. Duncan, that's what his do name. What you want me to say? The truth. What I did. I did for your own good. Eh? For House Forrester. For your father's legacy. You told them everything, Duncan. It's the wrong our one. Plans, our strategies. I only told them enough to keep us from war. But why? Because you're reckless, Roderick. Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger, Royland, as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. But you're not. And you've been endangering this house since the day you got home. Beating Griff blind. Despite the fact that his father still held Ryan. Taking Royland to High Point when the day called for diplomacy. And now, getting Arthur killed. Enough, Duncan! You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. I'm actually trying to save this family. Everything I've done, I've done for them. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. And the North Grove. Did you tell them about that, too? No. 
They've never even heard the name. I've kept the secrets that mattered. I wonder if, um... The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. And you broke it. If I swore we chose... to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. it hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled off that corpse cart. You're a traitor, Duncan. Nothing you say will change that. I know what I did was right. She ain't the guards. But yeah, I'm wondering Duncan, if we chose the other guy, if it would have been the other well, guy. Griff's gone. You get my meaning. Someone helped him, escape. him, if he would have been the is traitor. Your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you. Let's just get this over with. What do you want me to do with him, my lord? Kill me, and I won't be able to help you save Asher. What? He's in danger, Roderick. <gasps> what do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life, and I'll tell you everything. Please, Roderick. Perhaps we should hear him out. He's only saying that to save himself. You have to decide, my lord. Uh... Whatever you decide. Temper your anger with wisdom. If not for my sake, then for your families. Interesting. But yeah, I was wondering if... Um... If we had chosen him, if he would have become the traitor, that would have been interesting. Alright, I'm going to spare his I'll life. Spare your life. Now talk. We didn't promise, Talia. Mira cost Lud his army. He's desperate to strike back. He's going to ambush Asher the moment he makes landfall. No! Take this traitor away. Silencing me won't change things. You're making a mistake. What Duncan said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. Why not use crows? What do we do? Prepare the horses. We're going to war. Ooh. Probably was a wrong choice as well. And with that, I'm going to end the end the episode there. We are preparing for war. Mmm. I enjoyed that episode actually. It was much more interesting than the last one. Um, they're starting to sort of ramp up the story which is quite nice and they're also allowing us to spend more time with each character um it doesn't feel so choppy choppy which i am enjoying a lot well guys i do hope you enjoyed if you did please leave me a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one bye for now